every time some random unarmed black guy gets murdered by the cops, it's always really funny to me, and I never thought about this as much when I was younger because I didn't care all that much, but as I've gotten older and more progressive, I always love it when I see these conservative media outlets publishing stories for like following the weeks after some like unarmed black guy in the streets gets murdered by a cop or something or shot by some random dude saying <clears throat> well he was no angel uh actually he used to shoplift three years ago slothdos 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 Thank you for the $200 donation. Jesus fucking Christ. I've been drunk donating to all kinds of shit. Don't encourage the chat to harass people, and I love you reconsidering your views. Keep growing and being awesome. Hey, I've never encouraged anyone to harass people, but hey, I appreciate the $200 donation. Um, probably don't donate anymore because you're drunk and probably impaired, but that is like twice my uh, daily quota, so I appreciate I appreciate the uh, the strong start to the stream. God damn. Thank you for the $200, my friend. Uh, uh, very much appreciated. All right. Okay, um, so yes, I do really love seeing conservatives and, like, conservative media outlets, or even just, like, left-leaning media outlets, they'll do this too, just posting shit-tons of stories about how, hmm, well, he was no angel, you know, he's got a past, and so on, um, and we're not, we're talking specifically about kind of an old story, it's already a few weeks old, um, at this point, because, you know, uh, uh, there was a more recent story. I forget what the guy's name was. I think it was, like, Derek something. Um, and he was murdered, like, his, his throat was cut, crushed by a cop in the street, like, a few days ago, if I recall correctly. But that's still a news story. Um, and I don't know if I want to touch into that, because I'm not, like, a news channel. I don't feel comfortable talking about a story where, like, all the details aren't out yet. But I will admit, I watched the video, and it seems to be another one of these situations, where the cop is crushing the guy's throat, there's like, and, and he's saying, I can't breathe. You know, he, 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 he's dying, right? And then now we've got uh, media outlets on, on Twitter and shit like that posting. Hmm. Well, uh, new video sh footage shows that he actually was resisting arrest. Uh, okay, does, does he deserve to die? Does a guy resisting arrest, not having any, like, ability to be lethal, no, vi no lethal weapons, no, no weapons of any kind, Deserve to be murdered while being restrained? No. Why? Why are you? Po why are these stories being posted? It seems like there's a very particular message being sent that um, I guess they deserved it because they were no angel, you know. And we're gonna talk specifically about Ahmed uh, Ahmad Arbery in a minute. Um, Femboy Ancom, thanks for the five dollars. Is A Cab thirteen twelve emote when soon? Very soon. All right. <clears throat> So for those of you guys that just aren't aware, uh, whoop. My, my little window is a little too small, all right? All right, <clears throat> so for those of you guys that aren't aware, the shooting of Ahmed Arbery, it should say murder, but okay. On February 23rd, 2020, Ahmed Marquez Arbery, an unarmed 25-year-old African-American man, was fatally shot near Brunswick in Glen County, Georgia, while jogging on Holmes Road just before entering its intersection with Satilla Drive in the Satilla Shores neighborhood. He was unarmed, no weapons. Presumably he was jogging and had no bad intentions, even if he did have bad intentions, even if he was scoping out a place to possibly rob. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't change the point of the, of the message that's coming across here. When people like our boy, the Eggman, Stefan Molyneux, uh, or if I, can I try to do it in his accent? Does he have, what is his accent? Does he come from French Canada or something? Is he British? I don't know what his accent is. It just, it, it just, it it's confuses me. Uh, Stefan Molyneux, I can't, I can't do the Stefan Molyneux accent. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I subjected you guys to that. All right, but... This is a 42-minute long video by uh, Stefan Molyneux. We probably won't- he's Canadian? I know he's Canadian, but like, what's his accent from? Um, we're probably not going to watch the entirety of this video, because do, do we really need to just watch 42 minutes of Stefan Molyneux making excuses for murdering black people? Like, I mean, do we really? But, we're going to go ahead and give this a watch and see what Stefan Molyneux's take on uh, the, the Ahmed Aubrey situation is. It's called The Truth About Ahmed Aubrey, so I can only presume, from my surface-level analysis, which is just 
knowing who Stefan Molyneux is, looking at his tweets, and seeing the thumbnail and title of the video, he's probably going to start listing bad things Ahmed Arbery, or by his standard bad things Ahmed Arbery did in the past, and try to use that as some kind of uh, uh, shield to defend the people who killed him. But, okay. Hi everybody, this is Stefan Molyneux from Free Domain. This is the truth about Ahmad Arbery, the victim of a terrible killing that occurred in February in Georgia, for which just this last Wednesday, Pepe. Two men, a father and a son, have been arrested in connection with. Was it a vigilante action or was it self-defense? Let's cut through the rhetoric and get to the facts. And I will tell you what really happened, in my view, according to the facts and evidence. I don't know if I believe Stefan Molyneux when he's talking about facts and evidence. Just from knowing like the, the, the past statements and work of Stefan Molyneux, there haven't been many instances where I've come out of it thinking, oh wow, he's just laying out the facts. It's never happened before. So let's look at the mainstream narrative, which is generating great sympathy, which I completely understand. This is from- Hey chat, can we speed it up? Do we speak? I mean, he's already like getting to it. Like, oh, is it vigilante? He did the little virtue signal at the beginning to sort of like cover his ass, right? Like the horrible, the terrible shooting, right? Um, and then now he's going to be like, okay, is it vigilante? So on, you know, he's going to make excuses for it now, right? He he did the little, oh, I don't agree with this, but, and then he's just going to spend the next forty minutes making arguments for why it's okay. We're going to speed it up a little bit because the way that this is filmed seems to be sort of like from a live stream, kind of like what I do actually. So speeding this up is probably going Used to be. Used to watch the horrible egg like, man in my Chudley and Cap days. May have to bail from overwhelming shame for past me. Hey, critical pro. I used to watch Stefan Molyneux too. Granted, not as much as many others have, and not as much as I did like people like Andy Worski, and I, I also liked Lauren Southern. Um, not as much as 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 that, but I did occasionally watch Stefan Molyneux back in my Chud days. So uh, yeah, I mean, hey, we're. We're in it together, okay, Critical Pro? I appreciate the tier one sub, but if you gotta, if you gotta, li hey, if I gotta sit through this, if I gotta sit through this, you gotta sit through it, motherfucker. Okay, I love you. Thank you, $5. All right. We'll do it at 125 speed, okay? From the New York Times by Charles Blow. The killing of Ahmad Arbery, another black man falsely assumed to be a criminal, is dead. And here's a picture you've probably seen, this handsome young fellow smiling into the camera. And the article starts, the video is short and shocking. True. It's taken from the perspective of a vehicle following a young black man running at a jogger's pace. The jogger is 25-year-old Ahmad Arbery. Arbery approaches a pickup truck parked in the street. There are two white men, one outside the vehicle with a shotgun, 34-year-old Travis McMichael, and the other, his father, 64-year-old Gregory McMichael, standing aloft in the flatbed. The McMichaels had reportedly chased Arbery, blocking his path at another location, at which point he had turned around and jogged another way to avoid them. In the video, when the men encounter each other, there's immediately an altercation. Arbery and the younger McMichael fight for control of the shotgun. Shots are fired. Arbery tries to run away, but he is clearly wounded and his knees buckle. He collapses to the ground. The video ends. After Arbery fell, the younger McMichael rolled over the limp body to see if the male had a weapon. According to a police report, there was blood on McMichael's hands. I'll admit, Stefan Molyneux is a good reader. He's a pretty good... He, I mean, I don't like his accent very much. I don't know what it is about it, but it, it fucks with me. But I'll admit, he's a good reader. And I always... I, I can't even speak just normally without tripping over my own words. I need to get better at speaking. But uh, hey, maybe that'll come with time. Hey, listen, credit credit is due where credit is due, okay? He's a good speaker. I mean, he's a media-trained uh, uh, public figure who has been in the limelight for a very long time. So, you know, makes sense. When the police arrived, Aubrey died of his wounds. Terrible, terrible stuff. <clears throat> the NAACP put out an action alert from Georgia. Ahmad Arbery was running in his neighborhood and was chased and murdered by two white supremacists, contacted Liberty County District Attorney to demand that Gregory and Michael and Travis McMichael be charged for the murder of Ahmad Arbery. True. Yeah, probably. I'm not sure that this kind of racial profiling really helps the situation. I don't see any evidence. Of okay. Hold on. So two white guys in the street with a gun shoot a black guy who was jogging down the road in the back as he's running away from them, and you think it's unfair to say they were probably white supremacists or racist? And you're unironically going to say that, they, that now we're racially profiling the shooters? 
when someone commits a crime, finding out the motive for the crime is kind of an important thing. It's kind of a big deal to at least try to do that. This seems to be a pretty, like, standard part of investigation that comes to the police. The, the motivation matters. It's important. So I've not seen any evidence that they are white supremacists. You, you haven't seen any evidence that they're white supremacists. The dude that killed him has a picture on a KKK rally? Oh, really? Okay. Um. If this is true, that's gonna be, uh. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. That seems to be him. What's this source? Daily Boulder? Uh, I don't know if I trust Daily Boulder. Hold on. Can we get like a better source than the Daily Boulder? Something I've never heard of before? There's a poll thing? I don't know. I don't know if I trust that. The Intercept. NPR. Media bias fact check? Alright, let's check. Let's see if the Daily Boulder is trustworthy. Well, that didn't... That didn't take us anywhere. Oh, it was later proven not to be him? Okay, never mind then. The Intercept is based? Yeah, I don't know. Alright. Hey, listen, we're gonna take that with a grain of salt, okay? I think the video of him murdering a black guy in the street that was running away from him, though, is probably good enough evidence. I, I don't think we needed, like, the, um, oh, here's footage of him at a, at a KKK rally. Lemon, ma Lemon made the, the, the link 404 on me when you sent it to me. I, I, I'm sorry. Can't do anything about that. Celebrities, of course, particularly sports celebrities, took to Twitter and other social media platforms to voice their outrage. LeBron James said, we're literally hunted everywhere every time we step foot outside the comfort of our homes. Can't even go for a damn jog, man. Like WTF, man, are you kidding me? No, man, FR, are you kidding me? I'm sorry, Ahmad, rest in paradise. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Watching uh, Stefan Molyneux read this in like the fuck, the, just the whitest way possible. I'm sorry. That <laughs> FR. I think it means for real. Um, but yeah, to be to be honest though, I mean, there's a pretty high, like a pretty disproportionate rate of uh, of like police brutality and even killings of just random black people, right? You know, like if if you're like a white guy, it, like we've seen the videos of like white people who uh, who are resisting arrest and the police will, like wrestle them into place, but then not go any further, not fucking kill them and crush their windpipe or break their spine or something. Or like the, um, the vid like the stories about, uh, cops stopping at- There was like a story where some cops stopped, stopped at a Wendy's, because the, the guy in the back seat was like, I want Wendy's. And they caught him some fucking Wendy's or some shit. I don't know if that story is 100% true, but I, I remember hearing about that. Um, this is just- It does make sense that, like, there's a lot of anti-cop values that are- that are- pretty common in the black community for good reason if you're like a black person in america you've grown up seeing like god like what every month some like random black person be murdered in cold blood on the street and then like i mean if we just go with the trayvon martin shooting alone then the person who did it gets away with it like there's good reason to fear the police if you live in america and you're black this is not like a un this is not an unreasonable position to hold. And my prayers and blessings sent to the it's continued. Another person said, reality, hate to see it, some won't speak, but out they'll lose the endorsements they hold so dearly. This is not okay. How do I explain, says another celebrity, what happened to Ahmad 
Harbury to my six-year-old son. The violence needs to stop. Another tweet. The profiling and racial injustice needs to stop. Hashtag Ahmad Arbery. And uh, the uh, picture, of course, of the young man and the caption, I was murdered by an armed father and son who hunted me down and shot me as I jogged in a Georgia neighborhood. Neither of my killers have been charged. My name is Ahmad Arbery. Now, of course, this has been changed. Now the men have been charged. So more senselessness. Video is heartbreaking. How many more mothers will have to bury their sons and daughters? Answers needed. So... A lot of... Alright, my dude. Can we get to the memes now? Just get to it, my man Stefan. Of ...tension, a lot of frustration. I completely understand it from this perspective. So let's look at the people involved. This is Gregory okay. and Travis McC... Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. I mean... <laughs> I mean... Are we surprised? Look at these Kaykonas. Are like this this dude is literally the Kaykona emo. This guy right here? This is literally Kaykona right here. Are we really that surprised? Come on now. Okay, dude. All right. Michael, you've seen this picture. I'm sure looking like the kind of stereotypical good old boys deliverance style in their khakis and baseball caps and yep. squatting over a dead pig. You've seen their mugshots, I'm sure, down at the bottom with regards to Ahmad. Aubrey, it's a nice picture usually of him in a tuxedo, the alleged picture on the bottom right of his mugshot, not so commonly seen. So let's talk about... Wait. It... I think it's worth pointing out that Stefan seems to be taking the advantage at every turn to be like, hmm, I like how the media shows images of him wearing uh, uh, like a nice suit. And the images of him, you know, he looks super well put together. And, you know, they aren't really showing the picture of his mugshot much. Because he was murdered. Usually when the media posts something about somebody who was murdered or died in a tragic way, they don't try to, like, ruin the guy's image, generally. Like, they're, they're usually going to post images of the guy, like, looking dignified. This is just something that tends to happen when they show images of someone who's murdered. If, if the images exist. Also, they'll usually get images, like, from the family, right? Like, I, I, I would assume, at least. I mean, I've never... I've never... I've never been in this situation, but let's say, um... Let's say that somebody, uh, dies, right? Um, or is, like, murdered in some bullshit, right? And, uh, the media goes to a family to, like, report this, right? Um, they're probably... The family's probably gonna give them, like, a nice picture of their... Of their family member to be shown on the news, obviously. And as for the mugshot, what's the point? Why does it matter if the guy's got a criminal history if he was murdered while going on a jog and he didn't have any weapons? He was just murdered. It doesn't matter if he has a criminal history. He could have, like, he literally could have uh, uh, robbed a house earlier that day. If he wasn't out trying to hurt people, that doesn't justify fucking killing him. He didn't deserve to die. What happened? So, Aubrey was shot and killed February 23rd, Southeast Georgia. So, and this, the video has just been released. I'm not going to include it here. I'll do a follow-up, I'm sure. So, what happened was a neighbor called 911 reporting that a black man in a white t-shirt was inside a house that was partially under construction and partially closed in. Now, that's not jogging behavior. So, he wasn't out jogging. Nobody called the police because he was jogging. They called the police, or they called 911 because he was inside, illegally inside a house that was partially under construction and partially closed in. So, this... So... He was inside, I've actually, I already, I already know about this, but, so he was inside of a house being constructed. I don't think you know this, Stefan. I would assume you would, but, um, there's not really, uh, what? I, I've unironically seen people claiming, um, Images. I've unironically seen people claiming that he was like casing this house, like to rob it later, whenever it's built. <laughs> Is that what he was doing? Is that like the rule he was breaking? I don't know if you guys, maybe you guys don't do this, but fucking, I feel like everybody at some point in their life has trespassed into like construction zones and abandoned buildings and shit like that. I, um, I actually uh, uh, um, considered 
when I was first thinking about making a YouTube channel, instead of, um, yeah, he was mentally stealing the floor, the floor plans so that whenever he would come back, like, eight, eight months later, when the house is fully built and someone's moved in and all their shit's moved in, he would know the layout of the house preemptively so he could break in and rob it. Um, yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, I actually thought about, before I made my channel about, like, gaming, and then later about politics, doing, like, um, exploration videos, like, uh, exploring, urban exploration, right? Urbex, right? Um, their entire YouTube channel is dedicated to doing stuff like this. It's funny, too, because some of my, um, some of the most popular channels on YouTube back in, like, 2016, 2017, would be, like, these white boys that would go into, like, a Walmart or some superstore and, uh, and hide out after the closing, right? Um, one of the mo more recent ones that I watched was these, uh, these three guys in the UK went into a, uh, an Ikea and they hid under some beds while it was closing, and once the place was closed down, they climbed up on the, um, on, like, the rafters, or whatever they're called, the, um, uh, what are they called? Like, the support beams, and started jumping onto, like, the beds and shit. It was a pretty neat video, it was pretty fun, but you never hear stories about white kids getting shot doing stuff like this. All this dude was doing was walking around a house that was in construction. What could he have been doing here that was breaking the law besides trespassing, which, I mean, are we really going to justify killing someone who's trespassing in this scenario in a fucking construction zone? As someone who worked in construction for a little bit, knowing the layout of a framed house does not help you rob it. That's true, obviously. Like, look, wait, even then, how does knowing the layout of this... Let's, let's assume, worst case scenario, he's there to case the house for, like, the future, right? Most of the- this is like the frame of the house, the walls aren't even up. The most he's gonna get out of this is just knowing where the windows might be, and like the square footage. Like, it, even if he was casing it out, this doesn't excuse it. How many excuses- or how many like- because he's not gonna outright do it, right? All he's gonna do is sort of like the dog whistly, uh, oh well, as you can see, he was no saint, you know? He wasn't just out jogging or something, it's like... Okay, for one, how do you know? And two, even if he wasn't, does that justify it? He was unarmed. This is a picture of the house here. You can't see there's a little porta potty, which is probably how he knew that the house was under construction. A little porta potty on the front lawn. But he goes in, he spends, I don't know. Is that what the outside of the house looks like? I mean, this was months ago, I, I presume. Four minutes or so inside the house, he comes out and runs. And maybe because he heard or saw the man calling 911, but he hoofs it, man. He just, he just goes, goes fast. Is this confirmed? Yo, chat, is this confirmed that he was running away from the scene and that's when he was killed? Because, like, literally every source says he was jogging. Literally every single source says he's jogging. I don't know if I want to take Stefan, uh, Stefan Molly Nuts, Stefan Mule Nuts, uh, 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 word for it. And that, oh, what actually happened was he was casing this house and then someone called the police. And then he heard them, he heard them calling the, hold on. So he heard them calling the police, which I kind of find a little unlikely because um, if you're calling the cops, generally you're not doing it like to, as a display unless you're like a Karen in a park uh, uh, saying you're going to call the cop, like calling the cops and like a black guy walking his dog in the park, right? And so he heard him, he heard them calling the cops and then he started running away. Then some random guys on the street somehow knew uh, that he was running away pulled out a gun and shot him as he was run as he was running away. And even if that's what happened, which is the worst case scenario, like in for Ahmed Ar Aubrey, optically speaking, that still doesn't justify murdering him in cold blood in the street. There's just no way you can twist this story. I'm pretty sure the house incident was a few weeks before Xander Hall. I'm pretty sure it was, yeah. Um, but apparently, like, the story... Well, that's what I've heard. But for apparently what Stefan's trying to claim here is that, like, the, the... Like, this happened moments before he was killed. Like, he was... Oh, I, I think what he's trying to twist it as... Uh, oh, he was caught robbing a house, or... A, a house under construction, then ran? Yeah. Also, Xander Hall, also a black guy in a white shirt, really narrows it down, doesn't it? Yeah, it might not have even been him, too, yeah. Now, it's reported a shoplifting. I've also read that it was a television, but the question of motive is important here, right? And we'll get to this as we go forward. So the history... This doesn't matter. I literally don't care if he has a history of eating babies in his free time. Like, 
I mean, actually, maybe maybe it would be okay if he got shot if, if his free time is eating babies. But still, like, even if he has, like, a, an extensive criminal history, he's just out jogging on the street. He was unarmed. So apparently he stole a television in 2018, two years ago, and in 2013 was indicted on charges that he had brought a gun to high school to a high school basketball game. We've got him bringing having a, an ar, like being armed in 2013. I I you know I don't think having a weapon in 2013 justifies murdering somebody in 2020. You know, like almost a decade later. But you know, you do you, Stefan. And stealing a television, which is a non-violent crime, it's burglary, in 2018. Yeah, no, still doesn't justify his murder. Nice try, though, uh, Stefan. Street. By the way, Stefan's a white nationalist. The guy is racist. We don't need to, like, 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 we don't need to really do a lot of, like, deep thinking on whether or not we think that he's cool with the murder of Ahmed Aubrey. He obviously is. The guy's a white nationalist. He wants a white ethno state. He thinks black people are, like, uh, low IQ because of their skull bumps and whatever the fuck, uh, whatever race realists believe. He wants a white ethno state. He wants to cut off all, um, immigration from, like, the Middle East and non non-white countries, right? Um, like, we, we, we can already just preemptively assume he's cool with the murder of Ahmed Aubrey, but it is nice seeing him make as many excuses for the guys that murdered him as he possibly can. Is that uh, Ahmed Aubrey stole a television in 2018, which was, was a violation of the probation that he was under from 2013 when he was indicted on charges that he had brought a gun to a high school basketball game. Which is, of course, a... Don't care. Didn't ask. Plus... You guys know the rest. Terrible thing to do, and he fled, he threw the gun away, or hid the gun, they found it under a sandwich board, I think, an officer fractured his hand, uh, and in hot pursuit, he was charged oh. with a variety of things, but I don't know what that was, but okay. But as a first offender, he got five years probation, but then he violated the probation with shoplifting, it appears to be a television, it could be something else. And so this is really, really important as to motive, which I'll get to in a few minutes. Now, the video has just been released. According to officials, there is video footage of a man matching Aubrey's description burglarizing a home. Now, I don't know if the video that I watched of him going into this home is the same as him burglarizing a home, but... I feel like I would have heard of this if it was a different thing, but no, I'm pretty sure this video is of him in this house under construction, you know? He was casing out a, a, a half-finished house to, uh, for, you know, just jotting that down in his head so he could rob it again one day, you know? Can we get a plus your white emote? Eventually. Come on, guys. Listen, we're streaming. We shall find out as we go forward. The theory, of course, is that if he was a thief, then he may have gone into this house to look for a hammer. There's some evidence that he had a hammer in the altercation with the younger Michael. What is happening to my internet right now? The fuck? Um, there, there was a video of it. He didn't have a hammer in the video. What, what evidence? Wait. If he, had, if he had a hammer or a weapon, wouldn't this be like news everywhere the fact that he was actually armed i feel like the police would have come out about this and been like well actually no he was armed he had a hammer so maybe maybe it was justified they felt a little bit in danger although i don't think shooting a guy in the back who's running away who, who had a hammer moments ago is like justified but fine they would have a bit more of a case for self-defense but um no i haven't seen any evidence that he had a hammer uh seems like some wild speculation there and so, was he in there looking for tools with which to burglarize? We don't know. We'll probably find out again over the course of the trial. Now, this is under contention. Some people say there was a string of recent burglaries and auto break-ins in the neighborhood where Arbor was running. Some people say there was just one and another one that was unreported. Again, we'll find out as we go along. On the day of the shooting, there were several 911 calls reporting a suspect matching Arbor's description looking into houses. So again, was he out there just jogging? Was he shot for jogging? Did people call, you know, uh, 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 the police? Okay. Yo, chat, I'm going to hit you. I think we've seen everything we need to see of our boy Stefan, all right? Because this is literally going to be like 40 minutes of him justifying, just trying to justify this guy's death. And then he's going to do like a little rant at the end here, as you can see. Oh, look at that. Look how quick he goes. Woo! 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 God, he is, uh... Looks into the face. He's got liver spots going on. Look how old he is. Oof, Malding too. Oh, tough scene. We need a Malding emote. Ah oh, man, look at him. He looks like the Coomer emote. Or no, he looks like the um. He kind of does look like the Coomer emote, doesn't he? Kind of does. Just a little bit. A little less hair. 
than the Kumar emote, but kind of. He kind of looks like the Kumar emote, just a little bit. Um, okay, Oof, come on, Stefan, you're staring into my soul right now. You're making me a little, whew, making me a little hot and bothered. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys my take on the situation. All right, and we're going to finish this up, finish up the discussion here. So, Stefan Molyneux hates black people. We, we know this. He's a white nationalist. He's admitted to being a white nationalist before, so we know... He probably is cool with the with the murder of this of, of Ahmed Arbery, right? Like we can intuit that. However, and while I don't think this justifies his killing, I don't know if I fully agree with the narrative that he was just like out jogging and then he got shot on the street, right? I think chances are maybe he was doing something, like or planning to do something bad. And some fucking racist white guys shot him. But guess what, guys? Even if that's the case, it doesn't justify murdering him. It doesn't. There's still murderers who murdered a, uh, a person who didn't deserve to die. An unarmed guy who maybe had negative intentions for later to commit a non-violent crime. Because that is like the worst case scenario. Like, he has no violent history. So it's, you wouldn't really assume he was going to do any violent crime. The worst case scenario is that he was, like, worst case scenario. He went into that construction zone, broke into it, to get a hammer to, like, possibly burgle a house. Which is a non-violent crime. That is the worst case scenario for Ahmed Aubrey. And it still doesn't justify killing him. It still doesn't. So it's really funny to me that we've been seeing these conservative news outlets... For like weeks now just scrambling to get more info on this guy to like talk about his criminal history as if it implicitly justifies the guy's murder and excuses it now um this is this is not like a a new thing right like this always happens uh type hypers if you've seen like a story about like a random black guy getting killed in cold blood on camera or something like that you know as his back is turned to the police officer or whatever and then, like, you've got the mainstream media, me, news outlets that are like, you guys are already hypersing before you've even heard what I have to say. You lying little shits. Um, I'm going to stop asking guys to do that if you keep doing that. Um, and then, like, for the next few weeks, you got conservative media outlets that are just, like, spamming around um, their, uh, 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 their, like, mugshot from, like, pr crimes they, they committed back in, like, 2008. Yeah, oh, yeah, this guy who was running away from the cops deserved to get shot 16 times in the back. Uh, and and die because he robbed the candy store. He actually shoplifted a uh, a phone from an Apple store back in two thousand six. Okay. Um. But yeah, this is just going to continue to happen. Uh, Xander Hall, it's because we know the cycle of these events like the back of our hand. Yeah, I assume. God, if you're guys, if you're black in this country, you guys have a lot of shit you got to deal with. Oh, I'm sorry. Oof. But yeah, Stefan Molyneux, he just wants to be allowed to kill black people. That that really is what it is. I mean, he's a white nationalist, we know. He he wants a white ethno state, he wants all the brown people gone. We, you know, he's, we know what it's about, you know?